Pardon? The bookwork's always the hard part. Yeah. I don't know. It didn't hurt, I guess. I was uh, much younger then. <laughs> how many How many kids did you have then? I was eight, 18 did you years have, old. Was, was May born then? Did you have May? Did I have what? May? No. No, before May. No, I was... Uh, May. <laughs> With the taking those and throwing them in. You took samples. You do the paperwork. Okay. Okay. You had to know how much I paid for milk, a hundred, and figure out how much a cow gave, how much uh -huh. milk to give. And he took, he did test the milk himself, uh -huh. but then he would bring me the figures, you figure it out for the, we had to figure it out for a month because he only went once a month to test. So you got to figure it out for a whole 30 days. So. But it was good. You, they built up a lot of better herds that way then because they found out how you had to know how much they were paying a hundred for milk and how much milk your cow was getting uh -huh. and figure out how much money you're making on that. So you could build up your herd that way. Well, there was... Uh, I think he had 18 or 20 farms to do. I don't know how many cows, but some had. Mm, they wouldn't have more than 30 or 35 cows, probably. Now they have a lot more than that. Yeah. But you'd have to do it for 30 cows or 35 cows or more. He said he could have done it for more but it would have left some of the farmers out that wanted to get in DHIA, dairy herd improvement. So it was from the Dairy Herd Improvement Association. And that was my life. <laughs> did you keep, did you test your own? It was like going to school, almost. You hated it after a while. You know, it's just, I wanted to do what the other wives were doing. They weren't doing anything. Ah. <laughs> well, how would you like to have half a dozen kids and twenty or twenty-five herds bookkeeping on cows? <laughs> I don't know. You would have liked to have been a farmer at the time if you didn't have to do all the work yourself. Yeah, I guess. But that's how they built up dairy herds in Orleans County. We had a uh, Holstein and the butterfat was 3.7. Yeah. That's pretty darn good for Holstein. We had one cow that was half Holstein, half Jersey. She was a pretty good milker. Got that from a Holstein, made a lot of the milk. She tested over 4% for fat. That must have been number seven. Pardon? That must have been cow number seven. Uh, I'm number seven? Number seven, the cow. I don't know. You don't remember her name? <laughs> I remember her name. Nope. <laughs> I didn't have time for that. Oh. <laughs> we only looked at what we had time to do and what we were getting for doing it, and that was it. Uh. Then you went to sleep, and uh, I don't know if I can get up the next day. <laughs> also, if you had May, Rachel, and Eva uh -huh. to take care of, somebody has to wash diapers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But I did that before I was married anyway. I worked for people that had babies. Don't tell him he doesn't believe anything. I tell him. Oh, okay. Isn't he lucky? <laughs> Is it warmer out there now, Alan? Than what? <laughs> Than what? 
Then we hail from. Then we hail from.